We use synthetic division to check if a number, a certain number, if it's a zero of this polynomial. For that reason, we need to solve for x minus 1 equal to 0, so x equal to 1. We put this 1 as the number, so for that reason, it looks like we're flipping this minus 1. Okay. Uh, second thing you want to do is you want to copy all the coefficients thing. So how you set it up is very important. You take the coefficient of this term, put it here. If you're missing one, you're going to put zero. But in our case, we don't miss one. So we have minus one here. I'm just taking coefficient of each term here. Minus one. And then there's constant, one. And then I'm going to put the, my zero over here. Okay, so I'm going to box it. This is the zeros of polynomial, okay? That's why we flipped it. Um, and then what you do is you write down the first term. This thing is, we call it a lazy term. We don't do anything with it. And then what you do is one times this number, which is positive one. Okay, I'll draw a line here to remind myself I'm gonna add everything. So I have a zero here. One times zero is zero. Okay, so this times this. I'm going to put it here, okay? Then add those two, I'm going to come down here. And then this one times zero, I'm going to put it back up there again. One plus zero is one, okay? And then one times one is positive one again. Add it together, I'll have a zero again. I'll have a zero here. All those wiggly lines are multiplications, okay? And then on the straight down is adding. Okay, so I have a zero and then one. This last one is my remainder, okay? Because it's a remainder of one, this x minus one is not a factor of this. Another way to say that is x equal to one is not a zero. Okay, now let's read off the answer from here. Since we divided x plus one, the term for the leading term becomes x to the cube. Okay, used to be x to the fourth. So what I always tell my students is write it out first and then write the answer. So the answer becomes x to the cube with coefficient of 1, okay, plus 0 times x squared plus 1 times x plus constant 0 plus the remainder term. So over here all I did is I put the power. It was a 1 less than when we started. The answer is coefficient of 1 times this one and 0 times this, 1 times that, so on and so forth. And then with the remainder, this is what we do. We'll put the remainder on top, divided by x minus 1. That's what we're dividing. Okay, so our final answer, let's clean it up. x cubed plus x. Okay, so this term is 0 plus x plus 1 over x plus 1. Okay, so that's our answer. This is how you use synthetic division. All right, have a confident day.